Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back and uh, it was a pretty busy week but finally I got installed a new uh, pack of uh, StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void so guys uh, I'm really glad you are with me and hopefully we're gonna enjoy both uh, this amazing game uh, so far actually I've heard uh, really good things uh, about uh, this expansion actually the good thing is you can play actually it's a stand standalone game and even if you don't have uh, the heart of the swarm you can play this one so it's 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 actually really good what they've done uh, without losing any more time guys uh, we're gonna jump to the prologue and whispers of oblivion Let's see guys the story so far. For nearly 300 years, humans thought they were alone in the Caprulu sector. They were wrong. The Zerg emerged, seeking to consume all in their path. And before long, the Protoss, a highly advanced alien race, began wiping out infested worlds, burning Zerg and Terran alike. A three-way war, unlike anything humanity had ever faced, erupted almost overnight. All the while, a human civil war raged. Marshal Jim Raynor vowed to oppose the corrupt dictator Arcturus Minx for the betrayal of the woman he loved, Sarah Kerrigan. Ah, uh, boys. How about that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now! Kerrigan, a loyal operative, was left to die at the hands of the Zerg. But the Zerg had other plans. They transformed her and unleashed her psionic power upon the Caprulu sector, searching for their real objective, the Protoss homeworld of Ayr. The Protoss were unaware of this danger and slow to respond. Their rulers, the Conclave, had dispatched Executor Artanis to hunt for Tassadar, a commander who had refused to wipe out infested Terran worlds. They crossed paths with a dark Templar mystic, whose kind was considered heretics by the Conclave. Through great effort, Zeratul convinced Tassadar and Artanis that he was not their enemy. Together they rallied more Protoss from both factions against the Zerg. Despite the Conclave's fury, they achieved significant victories against the Swarm. But when Zeratul struck down one of the Overmind Cerebrates, his own mind was left vulnerable. From his thoughts, the Overmind gleaned Ayr's true location, and the Swarm descended upon the Protoss homeworld with all their might and fury. It was Tassadar who kept the Templar from extinction that day. Using the power of both the Templar and the Dark Templar, he sacrificed himself to kill the Overmind. Ayr was lost, but Artanis led the survivors to the Dark Templar's homeworld of Shakuras. All prejudices were set aside. The Templar were now in the Dark Templar's debt. Without the Overmind, the Swarm fractured. Kerrigan sought control of all the Zerg, even enlisting the aid of old friends and enemies like Raynor, Minx, and Zeratul. Once her rule was uncontested, the Queen of Blades betrayed them all. Billions of humans and Protoss were killed. The Zerg stood unchallenged, but to the relief of all, the war seemed to end there. Zeratul suspected the Zerg had fallen under the control of dark forces. He uncovered prophecies stating that an ancient entity, Amon, was attempting to merge Protoss and Zerg lifeforms into an unholy hybrid, and that this evil might already have control of Kerrigan and her power. It was during this time that Executor Artanis 
hailed as a hero, was made leader of both the Templar and the Dark Templar. As Hierarch, Artanis united both factions, and promised to one day reclaim the glory they had lost on Ayr. Raynor had vowed to see Kerrigan dead, but his retaliatory strike failed. Even his rebellion against Manx's tyranny proved ineffective against the Dominion's propaganda machine. But with the arrival of old friends and mysterious new allies, Raynor revived his campaign against the Dominion, scoring major victories on multiple fronts. But Serator warned him about the encroaching darkness and said the key to stopping Amon was the Queen of Blades. She was needed alive. In a daring raid on the Zerg homeworld of Char, armies from the Dominion and Raynor, with help from Arcturus' son Valerian, used an ancient Zelnaga artifact to neutralize Kerrigan's power and free her from Amon's grasp. The Queen of Blades was helpless. The Dominion wanted her dead. Raynor couldn't allow it. It's okay. I got you. Valerian Minx offered them sanctuary, but his father could not let this opportunity pass. During the raid, Kerrigan and Raynor were separated. Kerrigan escaped, while Raynor... He was briefly interrogated and summarily executed. Kerrigan sought vengeance. She set out to reclaim her position as Queen of Blades. With Zeratul's guidance, Kerrigan gathered the Zerg broods and ruled the swarm once again. Only this time, free. The killing will never stop. Until Minsk is dead. Kerrigan began dismantling the Dominion's military, one mission at a time. To her surprise, she learned that Raynor was still alive. She chartered a course to Korhal, Minx's stronghold. Despite encountering his best troops and traps, she personally ended his life. But there was little time to celebrate. Amon's plans were still unfolding. Kerrigan left Raynor to rebuild while she hunted her true enemy. Raynor and Valerian Minx set about reforming the Dominion with a just government. With the Zerg and Terrans quelled, Hierarch Artanis saw an opportunity. He declared that the unified Protoss Templar and Dark Templar alike, would retain ire. Any dissenting voices went unheard amid the hope for reclamation. Zeratul set off alone, searching for the truth, hoping against hope that the Hierarch was not making a terrible mistake. Okay, guys. <clears throat> actually, that was really nice. Like some uh, movie, only without popcorn, actually. Huh. Very, very nice. Uh, I've said it before in my previous gameplays about uh, the Heart of the Swarm. They've done an amazing job, guys. Uh, the voice, the cinematics, everything is absolutely amazing about this game. And Blizzard, oh my god, it's, I don't know, it's making like uh, really badass games, guys. So, without any delay, let's start a new campaign. Uh, let me take something first, subtitles and all the rest. And just give me a sec, guys. And before the, before we start, uh, I would like to show you the, the resolution and actually the quality that I'm playing the game. So, so far, GTX 970 don't haven't disappointed me, not yet and it's actually a really great uh, graphic card guys so we have everything set up i have uh, 
subtitles and everything. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. Guys, thank you for being with me and let's do this. has been abducting Templar from our colony worlds. My forces and I have managed to track them to a Terran facility, but we are under attack by the Swarm. The Swarm? I am on my way, Talus. May a doom hide you until I arrive. Our brethren are being held prisoner across the complex. We must free them before the swarm overwhelms the facility. Zeratul, I thought I sensed your presence. Let's not mince words. Why are you here? This place holds information I seek, and my captured brethren. I intend to free them both from the Terran's grip. This facility is a breeding ground for Amon's hybrid army. My swarm will embrace it from existence. But I know that won't this clear. Stay out of our way, Zeratul. Do not fear. We will not abandon this fight, Talus. If we are swift and clever, we can avoid the swarm. Very well. I have made our nexus point ready for your arrival. The captive Templar are kept just ahead. Ready your blades, warriors! I am the heart of darkness. I'm so glad I'm playing this game again, guys. So glad. Carrigan will send the swarm to destroy the station's reactor. We must free our brothers before that happens. We will need to cross the swarm's attack route to reach the captives. Move forward only when it is clear. Avoid the Zerg's forces at all costs. We are one with the shadows. State thy bidding. 
It shall be as you say. Very wise. We move unseen. So far so good. Dark whispers. I am here in the shadows. We are one with the shadow. I don't know if they're gonna attack us, but I have to build some defenses. Space. Glory to our master. I am the voice of the eclipse. Very well. Unseen. Yeah, they're gonna attack us. That's a big force.
flesh will serve the master. Very well. Upgrade complete. Nice actually. Nice ability. Immortal life. Demands it. Thank you. 
We believed the end was at hand. What do you know of this facility, Zealot? The Terrans tortured us, experimented upon our flesh. Most did not survive. I have seen foul work of this nature before, but Narud is dead. Whose hand brought you here? Alas, I know not. Praetor, we wish to join you, to avenge our brothers in arms. Then ready yourselves, Templar. Orin Shisa, we stand as one. Cold is the void. Warriors, there is another cell ahead. Go forth and claim the vengeance you seek. Kalado. You must construct additional pylons. Hi, Templar. Okay. Dark Templars. We are a tide of death that does not break. I return to serve. Oh, they're getting closer. Reclaim the pylon for ourselves. 
Those who side with Amon's hybrid deserve no mercy. Devour them whole. Reclaiming the pylon now. It is hard to believe such primitive beasts could manipulate our technology. I am the heart of darkness. You require my skills. We move unseen. We are one. State thy bidding. What the fuck is that? I can't destroy that. running short, Zeratul. Kerrigan, you know as well as I that Amon lives. Slaying his hybrid is a meaningless act. We must awaken the Zelnaga. I serve. No response. Huh. Better 
prison of stone in the Zerg. The final cell awaits us, Zeratul. We should delay no longer. You are a knight of the Kalon. We are unanimous. I will comply. M. Tonto Tassadar. Olak Natal. I am the voice. We are focused. Thus I serve in unity. Minions, go forth and slaughter. I wish to be done with this already. The Swarm prepares to assault Mobius Corps' final defenses. We must travel swiftly. We embrace the Lord! We have battled our time. Our focus. In unity, there is strength. Position. I thought it would go like through, you know, obstacles and things like that. I didn't know this this game was open. The Zerg are on the attack. Avoid them, brothers. Thus I serve. Target the central reactor. Go. Destroy. Both pylons have been returned to our rifle control. Warping in reinforcements now. Return to... You must construct additional pylons. I sir. We are the light of the color. Best speed geyser exhausted. My charge. Our minds are as one. In unity, there is strength. We are unanimous. Their defenses are growing stronger. 
Push forward with all our might! The hybrid are free. Strike them down. I return to serve. so close to our worlds. This can only be the work of Amon. Templar, where were they holding you? Is El Naga Temple, unlike any I have seen. It was called Eris, but its location was kept a secret from us. Mobius and the Taldarim both served under Naruf's command. He would have known the location of this temple. The Atreus system. This is where Amon was reborn. Deep within the Sigma Quadrant and under Taldarim guard. You have aided me in my quest, Zeratul. I am honor bound to help you in yours. We shall help you claim this temple. Huh? Oh, shit, guys. I don't know that. It was easy. 30? No. Nah. For my forces, it wasn't so bad actually, I think. Uh, what can I do now? Continue or... Okay, no. Guys, uh, yeah, that's my first video actually for the Legacy of the Void. And I really hope you enjoyed uh, this gameplay. And I'm pretty excited guys, to be honest with you. If you want to see more, stay tuned, subscribe so you can have everything I'm uploading instantly. And stay tuned guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.